Welcome back to Bronco Garage. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to keep your Bronco out of the ditch. Now, we're gonna be referencing several other videos, so be sure to check those out when you see the video cards above. It's sometimes challenging owning a Bronco. Not a whole lot of people understand you and your needs. That's probably why you're here in the first place at the Bronco Garage. Let's dive right in and figure out how to get your Bronco driving straight again. Number one, find an alignment shop that understands your Bronco. We recommend one that specializes in off-road vehicles. When it comes to Broncos, caster is king. Taking your Bronco to an off-road alignment shop is critical to it handling safely down the road. Plus, it keeps your tires wearing out prematurely. Speaking of tires, you want to make sure you run the right pressure. It will be different for every tire brand and Bronco. Give the alignment shop the year, make, and model of your Bronco and tell them what size tires and suspension lift it has. See if they'd be willing to schedule you. Most alignment shops rarely see first and second gen Broncos, so it is unlikely they will have the tools and knowledge to align them. But that doesn't mean that they can't do the job. You just may have to provide the special tools and parts. All right, number two. You want to check your front end for wear and tear. But where do you start? Well, you start with the four Bs. Bushings, ball joints, bearings, and bolts. Here are the key areas you'll want to inspect for bushing wear. Sometimes, they are literally missing. Look for cracks and tears in the poly or rubber. If you have any fluids leaking or sweating onto the bushings, it can deteriorate them and reduce their lifespan. Ball joints are not just for your knuckles, they are also in your steering joints. Heim joints are also a suitable replacement or upgrade in your steering system and also need to be inspected. Check your wheel bearings and ball joints for excessive play. In this example, we found the lower ball joints on this Bronco need to be replaced. If you look closely, you can see movement here where there shouldn't be any. Everywhere your front end connects with hardware is subject to come loose or simply wear out. Here are a few key areas I recommend you take a wrench or socket to and make sure all is tight and torque to spec. There are more bushings and hardware behind the front axle you need to inspect. See these radius arm bushings? If they are worn out or missing, they not only will affect your alignment, but can make driving the vehicle extremely unsafe. Grab a helper and have them move the wheel back and forth like this while you watch the front end and look for all the key areas that could be worn out. Number three, install new suspension and steering first. If you already plan on lifting or refreshing the suspension and or steering, do it now. No sense in getting in alignment twice and do yourself a big favor and buy the suspension and steering from the same vendor. Vendors like James Duff develop their parts to work together. So mixing and matching parts from vendors will typically create more work and headaches for you. When installing your suspension or just replacing old worn out front end bushings, be sure to click the video card above on how to properly install your C bushings. I see these parts installed wrong all the time and it's not only a headache to fix, but makes your Bronco uncontrollable. Number four, schedule alignment, but don't get an alignment. Wait, what? That's right, tell the alignment shop you just want to know what your alignment is currently. The only specs their machine will correctly dial in for a lifted Bronco with bigger tires is the toe and track. The caster needs to be set at 3 to 5 degrees positive, and the camber needs to be set at 0, plus or minus 0.25 degrees. Toe in should be set at 8th inch, or 0.25 degrees, plus or minus a tenth of a degree. Remember those special caster camber bushings and tool that Duff sells? You are likely going to need those now. Most alignment shops won't stock the bushings and tools, so take your alignment printout and head home. Now that you have an alignment printout on your front end, it is time to choose the correct caster camber bushings. 
As you can see, there are six different options, starting at a quarter degree, then a half, three quarter, one degree, one and a quarter, and one and a half degrees. You may only need one, or you might need two different ones, and this is why they are sold individually. Some come with a washer and some do not. As you increase in degree, the washer increases in thickness. The bushings also come with install instructions and you can buy the install tool separately as well. All right, so right here we have alignment specs for the driver side and the passenger side of this Bronco. Now you'll notice that everything in the green means this is gold and that's what we're looking for. But everything here on the red is of course what we're trying to change or fix. Now, these numbers probably aren't gonna make a lot of sense, but it's important that you see the difference here because we're trying to get our camber right between zero plus or minus 0.25 degrees, and we're trying to get our caster above three degrees, positive. Now, if you'll notice here, we're actually only 2.5 or 2.6, and then our camber is 0.4. So we've got to correct those by using these caster camber alignment bushings supplied by James Duff. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out the difference here on these two categories, and that's gonna give us which caster camber bushings we need to pick because there's six different choices. Now, as you can see, there's about a three quarter difference here, and there's about a quarter difference there. So with, a, with that being a quarter and this being three quarter, we would choose a one degree caster camber alignment bushing. And that's how we're gonna fix the driver's side and get them to match. Number five, go get your actual alignment done ASAP. Not only will your Bronco drive better, but it will also be safer and stop wearing out your tires unevenly. Some tips and tricks before heading back to the alignment shop. When installing the new caster camber bushings, be sure to pre-soak the upper ball joint nut with knocker loose several hours before removal and install. Be sure to spray the adjuster nut too once the top nut has been removed. Once the top nut is loose, you can gain access to the threaded adjuster sleeve below it. One word of caution though, you will destroy the ball joint adjuster tool, trying to remove the installed adjuster sleeve if you do not relieve tension on it first. A brass hammer works great here and will prevent damaging the nut and threads. Once the sleeve is broke free, remove it and install the new sleeve. You can add anti-seize to the threads, but don't use anti-seize on the ball joint itself. Use the instruction sheet provided with the parts as it will help you install the sleeve and the optional washer. Be sure to thread the adjuster down until you feel resistance from it contacting the ball joint. Then position it where it best works for your front end. If your front end needs both caster and camber adjustment, do not attempt this at home without the proper tools and knowledge. Thread the upper ball joint nut back on and torque to 100 foot-pounds. Important when installing new ball joints to use the factory adjuster sleeve to set up and torque the ball joints first, then go back and install the caster camber adjustment sleeve. So this is a fairly new Hunter alignment uh, machine. It's actually a 2021 model. And what's important to know is that this is gonna set up your Bronco to factory specs. So if you don't have a lift, it's gonna give you a great alignment. But once you start lifting the Bronco, that's where things change. And in fact, the information that's inside this machine isn't really gonna benefit you. So you're gonna have to get with your alignment tech, you're gonna have to show them what exactly you're looking for to get the perfect alignment for your Bronco. All right, so we have put the one degree caster camber adjustment bushing in the driver's side knuckle. And as you can see, after one attempt, the alignment technician nailed it you know that's pretty awesome and like i said earlier you know that that all comes from you know figuring out how much you're off camber and caster and then uh, you'll select the correct uh degree bush to get it all put back together and get it to nail now all we got to do is set the toe and we're good the alignment will be done Here you can see the most perfect readout for first and second gen Broncos with a suspension lift and big tires. Now you can increase the caster more, but on most Broncos with a low pinion front axle, any caster over four degrees positive causes the front drive shaft to bind. Thing. What, what a 
a joy. This thing is driving so good. Look at that. Wheels nice and straight. Tracking right down the road. No shimmy. That's what we're talking about, man. Handling and driving under control. That's what it's all about in an old Bronco. Well, I hope this video helps you get back in the saddle. Now be sure not to skip any steps and don't use the caster camera bushings as a quick fix or a band-aid. Now remember, caster is king. So if you feel like you need something else to get your Bronco driving straight and more safe, be sure to check out all the products at DuffTuff.com. Now, there's plenty more information in the description below. So I hope you check that out too. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. We've got a ton of stuff that we're working on. We can't wait to show you and leave a comment below. I really like your guys' feedback on these videos. We'll catch you guys next time.